Yeah, well, if we want this, is energy crisis, the energy drink, we pour. So we're with another video here, making another video, doing an energy drink review today, or tonight, whatever time you're in. Anyway, so tonight we're reviewing Monster Energy Ultra Blue. So uh, another monster, yet another monster. Obviously, you can see behind me, there's still some drinks there, but you know, I'm, I'm cracking away at it now. So here's another monster from the line, because they are in a blue line. So anyway, here we are, Monster Energy Ultra Blue. So uh, let's see, what's so special about it? Ultra Blue. I guess it's not just blue, it's Ultra Blue. Although on the can, it's not Ultra Blue, there's some silver on it. So in theory, if they're talking about descriptions, it lied blatantly. It's not ultra blue. It's just a little bit of blue. Anyway, so here we are, another monster. And uh, you know, let's check out the main ingredients here, shall we? Right, looking at the back here, nutritional facts: serving size is eight full ounces, two servings per container, zero calories, zero fat, 180 milligrams of sodium, two gra two gra two carbs, two grams of carbs. Uh, no sugar though. So there, you're safe. I got your vitamins, B3, B6, B12, <clears throat> some sort of acid, oh, vitamin B5. Uh, some of the main ingredients include carbonated water, citric acid, natural and artificial flavors, taurine, sodium citrate, phoenix ginseng extract, L-carnitine, L-tartrate, that's a new one, caffeine, sorbic acid as a preservative, cerclose, benzic acid as another preservative, and uh, yeah, some of them, got a whole paragraph here full of them. Manufactured for Monster Energy Company. Um, I'm not going to give out their address in case any of you want to threaten their lives. So for their own protection, I will not give out their address. All right, let's see. What's this at the bottom? Usually they usually they uh, don't show the caffeine content, but looks like it looks like they're getting down on them now. The F FDA, not FAA, right? Whatever, whichever one it is. FDA is cracking down on them now. So now they have the caffeine displayed. Alright, so let's read this. This is the first, alright? Remember that. Monster Energy Blend. Taurine, Phoenix Ginseng Extract, L-Carnitine, Caffeine, Glucolactone, Grun Extract, and Incitol. Caffeine from all sources. 70 mg per 8 fluid ounces. Servings, 140 mg per can. Oof, didn't know that. Got a lot of caffeine. Certainly packing more of a punch than Red Bull, which, uh... I believe Red Bull was 60 or 80 per can. <coughs> My apologies there. I'm going to speak a little low tonight because people are sleeping. and God forbid if I wake them up. No. Listen, I wouldn't want to be woken up either by this, so I don't blame them. So that's why I'm going to keep my uh, voice down a little lower. You're not going to notice any difference whatsoever. Anyway, I know you're waiting for me to open this up, so let me just quickly read this here. I'm just... There we go. Let me just quickly read this. Monster Energy Ultra Blue. Aspen something Park City Whistler Mammoth. The list goes on. The competition and training circuit has taken the team on some epic snow trips. In order of these map in honor of these mountain towns comes Ultra Blue. Best served ice cold from the frosty can. Well, this is ice cold. Um, Ultra Blue is a little less sweet and lighter tasting with zero calories and a full load of our Monster Energy blend. From first chair to last call, Unleash the Beast, MonsterEnergy.com, go on Facebook, Twitter, the YouTube, do whatever it is you're supposed to do there. Fair enough, so you know what? I've uh, been talking too long enough about this can, so let's open this up now, shall we? You know what? I can't see a single thing in here, but I'm expecting this to be ultra blue. And if it is, I'm literally going to be shocked. And you know what? It's probably going to be like clear or white. <gasps> My god. It's blue. Not quite the same color as the can, but it's blue. 
It's a miracle. Seriously. Took me off guard. Usually I'm sarcastic with that, but I was actually right for once. Anyway, first blue monster I've seen. Watch is like in review number 30 or something a couple years ago. I reviewed a blue monster, but this is the first one I remember seeing. So. Just smelling it, really, you can't can't really discern anything at this point, so let's give this a shot. Cheers. There. I said this was less sweet. Not noticing that. Must be filmed with artificial sugars. Oh, a little less sweet. All right, yeah. By a little, they mean nothing noticeable. They just need some filler in on that little, whatever they put their monologue. Guys are probably sitting in a boardroom saying, "All right, come on, you know this doesn't look good. We need one more sentence. What can we put?" Oh, oh, come on, yeah, we'll. A little less sweet. No one, you know, people... No one's gonna notice it. I didn't. So anyway, as you can see, I drank this pretty much down to the bottom of this glass. So what does this taste like exactly? Well, first off, it tastes pretty much like a regular monster does. However, it does have less carbonation than a regular monster. So once again, it's smoother tasting. Not as much as Monster Import is, though. You know, Monster Import, that takes the cake. That's like the smoothest monster out there. But this monster, you know, it's a little a little smoother tasting. You know, not as much carbonation at all. However, when you first take a sip, let's see right now. When you first take a sip, honestly, you know, maybe I was a little wrong about the uh, sweetness. It still is a sweet drink, but... You know, it comes in two parts. The first thing that happens, as soon as you, uh, you know, take the first sip, let's say it that way, the first thing that hits the tongue, all right, it is a little sour. A little. A little. And as I said before, a little means not noticeable, but it's a little sour. You know, that's the first thing you get. All right, a little bit. Maybe I was wrong, but you'll see what happens. It was a little sour at, at first. You know, as soon as it hits the tongue, smooth, but a little sour. But then as it begins to progress, then it gets sweet. That's what I'll say. So once again, let me repeat this as a whole now. The first thing that happens, as soon as it hits the tongue, first off, almost no carbonation, very smooth. And what you fir the first thing I notice is a little hint, a little hint of sourness. You know, nothing like you'll be like, you know, none of that, like where you're, making a face or anything like that when you're eating something really sour. But just a little hint of sourness. And then what progresses on, you know, still being a very smooth drink, as soon as it goes down and hits the throat, you know, and taste buds and etc., then you get a little hint of sweetness, a hint of sweetness. You know, nothing extremely, you know, noticeable also. None of the two flavors are extremely potent. But first thing, once again, hits the tongue, very smooth. And then you get a little sourness, a little, not much. Then as it moves, you know, further into your mouth, then you get a hint of sweetness to follow, you know, and then that's that. And as the aftertaste, you get a little bit of a sweet aftertaste also, you know, but nothing, nothing really that potent with this drink. You know, once again, first thing, as soon as it hits the tongue, you get a little bit of a sour, I wouldn't say bitter, a little bit of a, a sour, you know, flavor. Then it progresses on and gets gradually sweeter and sweeter. You know, and there you have it. Uh, otherwise, taste-wise, you know, it's obviously just not sour and sweet. It has that general monster taste. And you know what I mean. You know, if you've drank a monster before, monster truly has its own flavor. It's not flavored to be any other. It's, you know, it's not like raspberry flavored or anything like that. Monster has its own distinct flavor. And that's what this has. It has its own distinct flavor. Monster flavor. So, once again, as soon as it hits the tongue... You get a little bit of a sour taste, a little bit of a sour taste, then it progresses into your mouth, you get a, uh, you know, gradually sweetening up, and then in the end you get a, you know, a nice little sweet aftertaste. So basically there you have it, this is Monster Energy Ultra Blue, Ultra Blue, you know, so, 
think I've wrapped this review up pretty quickly. Probably all in the timer says six minutes, but I know I started that late. Probably like 20 minutes in now. Who wants to watch this? No, I know it's not 20 minutes. more like 15, not 10 probably, 9. Getting longer as I talk more and more. All right, well, there you have it. There's a review for Monster Energy Ultra Blue. Uh, once again, let's just say this. Effectiveness I obviously cannot do, but is this drink worth it? Well, Ultra Blue, for its title, was only worth $1.99. Typical energy drink price. So, honestly, you know, it's not too expensive, so I'd suggest you go out and get it. I had difficulty finding this. I had to buy this in Boston. I was uh, on vacation. It's not like I traveled up there to get this or anything like that. But that's where I got it for $1.99. That's the price, $1.99. All right, then it's 12.58 a.m. Eastern Time. And uh, let me just give you a quick little wrap-up here. Uh, you know, there's your drink uh, for, I wouldn't say lunch or dinner, because I had this at, like, 4. For a meal today, I had Subway. Same thing I had in the review. BLT, Italian Urban Cheese, Foot Long. Bacon, lettuce, tomato, salt, pepper, oregano, oil, and vinegar, toasted. That's what I had. Go out and get it. Then you could say, oh, yeah. Yeah, he had this. You know. Review bra had this sandwich. So there you have it. Once again, Monster Energy Ultra Blue. You Myron. It's a good drink, isn't it? You Myron. Absolutely. I am. Fair enough. Well, I'm going to quit wasting your time here. This is the Report of the Week. It's 12.59 a.m. And this is Energy Crisis, the Energy Drink Report. And today we reviewed Monster Energy Ultra Blue. Thank you very much, and I'll be seeing you maybe even later this week with a food review. Who knows, but until then, I'll see you later. Take care.